Okay guys, so we're back at this 5.30 again today. We're trying to figure out the fan. So what the problem is with the fan, it doesn't always come on, but sometimes it does. So what's happening right now, in fact when I sold this car, I checked it and it did work. So it wasn't working, I turned the AC on, didn't come on, and wasn't on, wasn't on, all of a sudden it came on. When you turn the AC button on, it should be on all the time. Then when the car gets up to temperature, it should pick up and cool back down. Well, it never does pick up, so if it sits here and idles long enough, it's getting too hot. So, we're going to go and try to figure this out real quick. Okay, so this is pretty much perfect temperature right there. Anything over that, it, things are going wrong. So the problem with this fan is, isn't that it doesn't work, it doesn't work consistently. So, we unplugged it, we sprayed out the plug that goes in the fan up under the, under the hood. It looked good. We WD-40 that, plugged it back in in case there was a connection problem. Uh, we did check the fuses behind the glove box and those were, both of them were good. So I'm not sure if there's a, a problem with the fan itself. It looks like it's spinning full speed whenever it comes on. Now, I could turn the AC on and it'll come on, but not every time. But that's not good enough. What's going to happen is these people's going to be driving this car. And if it's in the summertime, they're going to be sitting in the stoplight. It's going to overheat. As long as you're driving, it'll never overheat. That's only for sitting still, running the AC in a hot summertime. But you have to have the auxiliary electric fan going. Okay, so here we are. What we went in and did, before I pulled the bumper and pulled the fan and everything off, we replaced the switch for the fan which is right there, the temperature switch, which is down here on the bottom hose. So I tried to pull the old one out and stick the new one in as fast as I could. That didn't work, so it freaking has antifreeze all over the trailer now. So we'll have to go ahead and uh, retop it off. And then the second thing we did was the fan relay, which is right there. And that guy is supposed to clip in right here, but the clips are always broke. So I have them up here out of the way for right now, just so we know for sure that's going to fix it. If not, we're going to snap the old one back on. And if this does not work, we're going to have to go ahead and pull the front bumper totally off. And we're going to have to pull the whole fan unit out and replace it. Okay guys, so that actually fixed it. We don't know which one it is. I don't want to go switching that crap back out. Um, once it gets over halfway, just a tiny bit, let me get up in here and show you. Okay, so on these cars, once it gets over halfway over that mark at all, it starts venting out the radiator cap, and it purges. The radiator cap is set at a certain pressure. So we replaced both of them. They're cheap enough. I have enough of them laying around. I'm going to go ahead and throw away the uh, relay and the sensor I took off and be done with it. And the uh, car is running fine. The oil leak has stopped. You see back here, there's nothing dripping on the manifold at all. It's all real clean, real clear. Never any smoke, nothing whatsoever. So, uh, I think we're good on this. We still need to go drive it. A lot of times these cars are okay idling, okay driving slow. What we're going to do, we're going to hit the highway with it and try to run it at 55, 60. Uh, for at least 10 or 15 minutes, come back, come to a stop, and then we'll open the hood. And just be 110%. We don't want to give this car back to these people unless we know for sure it doesn't stink and they're never going to have the overheating problems at all. Okay, so we just got it back to the last test run. Now I drove it without the air box in it, without the cabin air filter housing. Because I want to be able to smell anything at all that came through there. And uh, nothing at all. Everything's perfect. That glue worked really well on the valve cover. And then pretty much go one drop of rainwater come out from under the bumper. Nothing else dripping at all, so we're going to let it cool down. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and recheck the coolant since we had to let a bunch of it out when I pulled that sensor out. And then we're going to go and put the plastic back on it and uh, I guess return it. It should be good to go.